Okay, today we're going to be working in a traditional um, washer, GE washer. And the problem is that it's not agitating. The timer goes through the whole cycle, but it's not agitating or spinning or doing anything. It just fills up with water <clears throat> and doesn't do anything else. It, it, it fills up with water, it drains and everything but it doesn't spin or it agitates. So today we're gonna to find out what's going on. First thing you need to do is open the front panel, remove the front panel. By doing this, there's two taps on each side. Remove this front panel. <clears throat> then you're gonna find two screws which they are one quarter screws then you're gonna lift up and remove the front panel in the back we're gonna find a harness for the um, lid switch. <clears throat> now, if you guys have a multimeter, check the lid switch for continuity. You put your meter to check with continuity or ohms. Ohms, continuity. This has the beep um, setting. So if I have some kind of continuity, basically if it beeps, that switch is fine. If it beeps while the door is shut. We put it here in the terminals on the har harness. And then if, if we open and close it, it should be beeping while it's down. Now, if you don't have a multimeter tester, what you gotta do is find a piece of wire like this and go ahead and put it to make sure that the washer is unplugged from the wall from the electrical and put a jumper on it if you put a jumper on it it should drain it should spin it should agitate if it does that that means the lid switch needs to be replaced Remember to disconnect the, the washer while you put the jumper. That's for safety. I recommend not to leave this dry, this washer, sorry, without a lid switch because this uh, washer uh, spins a higher RPMs. That means if somebody opens the door, let's say a kid or Somebody opens the door and put the hand in there while it's on the spin cycle, it can literally break your hand because it's very strong. So if if it works that way, go ahead and replace uh, the lid switch. We already have diagnostic this washer and we have a replacement part for this lid switch. As you can see, a brand new lid switch I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the procedure <clears throat> with the uh, new lid switch
this is the old switch this is the new switch Now, as you can see, this has some tap, the screw on the top and some taps here. And there you go. It releases the switch and it comes right out. We're going to do the same procedure. with the new switch as you can see it has some taps and it clamps to the uh, new switch like so now we're going to try again for continuity on the new one just to show you guys that it will be like so and then we just gotta put everything back together Now this is something that you guys got to know, this male tap goes to this uh, hole right here, this one to this one, and this one to this one. I'm going to try to put them and show you guys that sometimes you have to put it in an angle, that way it works. forget to put this screw back on the lid switch and um, right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys how the front panel clamps into the two um, uh, clamps. As you see in the bottom, it has two male to female uh, tabs. And on the top has two releasing tabs. Just gonna show you guys. I'm just doing this to show you guys how how it works and how you gotta put your putty knife or something to release it to remove the front panel. So you see that lifts up and then the front panel come loose. This is just to a uh, demonstration to release the front panel. 
there you go that's how it come loose then you put the two screws back on and put the front panel back on um, back in place and as you see now it's watching working great now i'm just going to do a little demonstration here that the switch is working working beautiful if you like this video please share like subscribe to our channel for more future videos thanks for watching